Hey everyone, welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. I recently had to create a custom UI table view cell, and I hadn't done it for a long time, and I couldn't quite remember the mechanics how. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to create a custom table view cell with basically an image, a couple labels, give you whole freedom on how to do all your own complete layout in here using auto layout. And we'll take a look at the mechanics around how that works, how to hook it up to your table view, and how to build your very own custom UI table view cell. So the first step to creating your very own UI table view cell is to create a new class. This one I'm calling channel cell and have it extend UI table view cell. Now, because we're working in UI kit here, this is gonna be a class. And then you need to provide basically two initializers here, one called override of this form. It takes the style, the table view cell style and a reuse identifier. We're gonna use that when we connect it to our table. And this is just a required initializer that we need for a decoder. And that's basically it. <laughs> Once you've instantiated that, now you've got this view here. Now you're free to use all your auto layout to basically design and lay out this view however you like. So in this case, I've got a UI image view and two labels, which look like this. Here's my channel image view. It's just a image view like this. I give it a default image that I'm just populating in there. Then I've got two labels, which are just stored properties. Here's my name label and my price label. And then down here, I just do my layout. I add them to the sub view. So this UI table view cell itself is a view. So I'm just going to add them to the sub view and then do my standard auto layout stuff here, centering the name, putting the image on the left, the price on the right. Now that's basically it. I've basically got a UI table view cell that I'm now free to use in a UI table view. So now let's take a look at how to do that. So here's my view controller. In here, I define a struct representing the model or the data that's gonna populate this view. In this case, it's a very simple struct. It's just a channel with an image name, uh, the name and price. Here, I create the channel. I've called it uh, channel one, it's Netflix. Here's the name and price. And I'm sticking that into an array. I'm pretending I read this from the back end. This could have been a JSON call or something that populated this array of channels. And this is what I'm gonna to use to populate my table view here. So now the rest of this is standard UI view controller stuff. For my table view, I need a cell ID. I create my table view here. Now here's the interesting thing. One thing we need to do with any UI table view cell, including your own custom one, is you need to register it. So this is a key line here, table view dot register channel cell self. That's the channel we just created along with our reuse identifier cell ID. This is standard layout stuff here. I'm just taking my table and basically pinning it to all of the edges of the view. And then down here in our view table delegate, I'm not really doing anything down here, but I still need to offer the delegate and here is my data source for the table view. And this is the key line here. This is just like we did before with a plain old uh, UI table view cell. Here we're going to dequeue a reusable cell with our cell ID, and here is our channel. So this is a key part here. We want to dequeue the cell of our type channel here. And I'm okay having a bang here because I know I'm gonna have a channel uh, cell here all the time. So I'm gonna pull up the cell. And then I'm gonna grab the channel from my array, channel one, which has all of our information. And then I really like this. This is a nice way to populate the data into your cell. This is where you can take your stored property, which for us was this channel here. Note, I made this optional. That's because if I didn't make it optional, I would need to instantiate or give this a value when the cell is created. And I, I didn't wanna do that. So I made it optional here. Then we simply unwrap it. And once we've got our channel here, this is all the information we need to populate into our view elements. In this case, I can pull out and create my channel image view. I can get the name of the channel along with the price. And then one last thing we did down here, I decided to make these cells a little bit taller. So I just overrode the default and I gave them a height of 80. And that's it. That's really all there is to creating your own table view cell. Create your class, extend it from UI table view cell, do your auto layout, populate it with a domain object like this and hook it up. That's all there is to it. It's really, really simple, but it's really nice because it gives you a whole bunch of flow and control over exactly how you'd like that road to look in your table view. Okay, that's it everyone. Thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
good luck. Uh, if you're like me, you're probably working from home. But, uh, hang in there, keep learning, and we'll see you next time. All right, take care. Bye-bye.